Welcome to Love Doll Science. This is Stacy Love Doll. This video is called Relative Dating, Which Came First? The objectives of this lesson are to explain the principle of superposition, to explain how relative dating is used in geology, and to explain how the geologic column is used to date rocks. So let's get started. Relative dating is just determining whether a rock layer is older or younger than other rock layers without actually figuring out its exact or absolute age. A good way to think about this is to imagine a pile of photographs. Suppose someone in your family is just taking photos all the time and they're printing them out and they're just piling them up in a box. After a while, if you wanted to find the first photos that were taken or the oldest photos, you would look at the bottom of the stack. Rock layers are the same. The principle of superposition states that the oldest rock layers are at the bottom and the youngest rock layers are at the top. And this makes sense because deposition is always occurring from the top down and we assume according to the principle of original horizontality that rock layers are going to be deposited horizontally. So over the ages and ages and ages and ages, these rock layers gradually build up. Let's do a quick note check. I've already taken one page of notes. Depending on the size of your writing, you might have more or less than I do. There are forces that can disturb rock layers. Erosion, uplift, and folding, to name a few. Here's a really good example of uplifted rocks that were also bent and folded. This is the Mitten Park Fault on the Green River out west in Colorado. And here is a really cool syncline sitting on top of some layered rocks. You can see, so that's an example of how folding can disturb rock layers. The effects of disturbing forces can disrupt the rocks and push other rocks into a sequence. They can fold or tilt rock layers and make it more challenging to figure out which layer was on the bottom and which layers are on the top. In some cases, rock sequences or rock layers are actually upside down. So the oldest layers are no longer at the bottom, but they've been flipped upside down by geologic forces. The geologic rock column is an arrangement of rock layers in which the oldest rocks are at the bottom and the youngest rocks are at the top. If we look at this figure, which is right from your textbook, you can see all of these different rock layers. And we would imagine that these layers are, sub are exposed somewhere. Perhaps a geologist drilled a well and took a rock core in this case. This could be the side of a road cut. This could be the side of a canyon. So in all of these places across a very long wide area, geologists would match up layers to see how the rock column depicts the earth over a wide area. You can see how the layers match up. And in this case, the youngest rocks are at the top and the oldest rocks are at the bottom. An example from our country is the geologic rock column of the Grand Canyon, which is depicted here. This is really cool, and we're going to learn a little bit more about the Grand Canyon next. We have the oldest rock layers at the bottom and the very youngest rock layers at the top, and you can see all of these layers from inside the Grand Canyon. And the Colorado River would be way down here at the bottom. In summary, geologists use relative age dating to determine the order in which events happened. The principle of superposition states that in undisturbed rock sequences, the younger layers lie above the older layers, and rocks can be disturbed by geologic forces. The known rock and fossil record is indicated by the geologic rock column. So here's a quick note check. There are a couple of vocabulary words, just three this time. And don't forget your three R's. Go back and review your notes. Do some kind of a reflection on the left side of each page of your notes and respond to this question. In the video, relative age dating is compared to taking photographs. Create your own analogy for relative age dating and explain it in a short paragraph. And now you know about relative age dating. Thanks for watching.